We thought we'd start out with some top water fishing and really just enjoy cruising in the boat and the surrounding area here at Namoto Island. We started to work a little bit of reef that I've actually never fished and as we came around there was some deep water, a couple of bommies sitting there and we could see some bait flickering on one of them and I banged a cast in on the other side of the bommie, pulled it past and actually seen the bluefin trevally come out and smash the lure. What have you got there, Sneaky? Little bluefin trevally, nailed the stick bait. Ooh, nice fish too. Nice way to start the morning, couple of casts on this little shallow bommy and bang, this little fella nailed the stick bait. How good are the colours? Iridescent blue. Bluefin trevally are one of the most common species that we get here on top water. They're purely a catch and release fish. They are amazing to eat, but we really try to preserve the areas around here so these ones always go back into the water. What's beautiful around these surrounding islands at Namotu are the super high cliffs over beautiful beaches with a bunch of palm trees and the water clarity on top of that. It's just another world. I was taken back by how beautiful it is. If you weren't a fisherman, to go down there and lounge around on some of them beaches or even stay in the cobalt, have some beers, have some food and in that area, it's just, it is amazing. So it was a bit of a new area down there. We thought we'd bang on some surface lures and just work some edges. We actually had quite a few follows and we didn't produce any big fish from that area, but you could see it had so much potential. I think with any type of fishing, you need to be really open-minded and just let the day dictate what style of fishing that you're gonna do. And that's probably the best part about the cobalt because if you're trying one thing and it's not working, you can get between spots really quick and so it just gives you more time fishing each day. It doesn't matter if there's even, even a little bit of wind. It is just as smooth as ride. It's such a heavy boat and so big and wide that you feel safe and comfortable at any time. I've fished a lot of boats in my life and this boat is the best boat I've ever fished in. Everything has its own little space. There's little cupboards for your lures, there's drawers for your tools, there's rigging spots to rig stuff, there's a massive live bait tank, you can get all the gaffs and stuff up under the gunnels. There's rod holders everywhere, so your rods are always out of your way. It's just, in my eyes, the perfect boat. Not only is it an epic fishing boat, it's one of the best boats for cruising around the islands because it's spacious and comfortable and super safe. The GT fishing around here at Namotu is incredible and we thought we'd save the best for last. We knew the tides were going to be really good for top water fishing so we kind of planned our day around the sunset and the tides to fish the bommies and structures around the back of Namotu. Just on sunset we came up to this bait ball and we knew that there was a GT around it. Dylan gave me first cast and I put it in the perfect position. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yes! Yep. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It barely landed. It must have washed it in the sky. <laughs> it was a really tight ball of bait fish. Casting my lure right on top of it. And literally, as soon as my lure hit the water, the big GT just smashed it. I still don't have control of him yet. He's way bigger than what I can handle with too much pressure on, so I just gotta be patient at this point. The power of these things is insane. You feel every head kick, they're just the beast of the ocean. Oh, that's a good fish. Wow, it's a really good fish. You'd see right now, I've just got a treble right in his gill. You have to be really careful with him here. This is the first time that we've done any type of uh, GT fishing from the side of this boat, and the gunnels are super high, so <laughs> I got the fish to the side of the boat and I felt like I'd won the battle. And then Dylan was trying to reach down to tail it to bring it back in, but because his arms are so short, he couldn't actually reach the fish. And it kept going around in circles. 
he'd almost get it and miss it. And the whole time my heart was pumping because I felt like we we're gonna lose the fish at this point. Ben's freaking out because the hooks are about to pull out his face. I had to get Micah, the captain, to hold the legs as it leant over to pick this really heavy GT up to get it over the side. Yes! Well done, Wilson. Oh my God. Good this fish. This thing is insane. Okay, look at this thing. Like this thing literally launched out of the water as soon as my Look stick how bait. Easy that came out. As soon as my stick bait hit the water, he was straight on it. He was just hooks. You can see the stick baits just come out now, but they're just such an amazing fish. This one is in perfect condition. We're going to get him straight back in the water right now. But this is literally just right by Namotu Island. We've got some amazing bombies out here. When we got the fish in the boat, it truly felt like one of the best captures I've ever had because of the first GT in this boat, but just the way it all went down, the whole cast, the fight, and then us kind of goofing around at the side of the boat trying to get it in. It was really a rewarding feeling. Oh, so oh. stoked, such an amazing fish, and so good to be able to put them back like that. So, happy days here at Namotu. Ooh.